Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about the movie The Dark Knight, a very famous one, and I believe all of you guys have heard of it or watched it. And me personally love it a lot. And we're going to talk about the philosophy concepts associated with the plot, with the choices made by characters in this movie. So this Dark Knight about Batman, the Joker, the Two Face, and Gotham, the city. And the choices are being made in stories as one of the main themes in the whole plot. And in this video, the series associated with moral quandary and utilitarianism will be mentioned to analyze the choices made. So before jumping into the storyline, Rose concepts shall be introduced first. Moral quandary or moral dilemmas are situations where the decision makers must consider two or more moral values or obligations, but can only honor one. As a result, regardless of the decision, the individual will violate at least one significant moral concern. The choices in in a false dilemma is between a right and a wrong. Sometimes in a moral quandary, we have to decide whether killing innocent people to save a number of lives is appropriate. Some moral dilemmas arise from conflicting moral principles. Take the classic runaway trolley as an example. One principle that comes into play in the trolley story is we should save as many lives as possible. But another says it is wrong to kill an innocent person even for a good cause. Confronted with a situation in which saving a number of lives depends on killing an innocent person, we face a moral quandary. We must try to figure out which principle has greater weight or is more appropriate under the circumstances. The idea of utilitarianism, brought up by Jeremy Benson, advocates the maximization of utility and happiness. And that is to say, use the pain of a minor in exchange for the pleasure of a major. The first choice being made was that Batman has to choose between Rachel and Harvey Dent. He faced a moral dilemma as the two victims were kept at two ends of the city and he could only reach one person in time to save him or her. Batman chose to save Rachel because of his personal feelings, well, personal feelings of Bruce Wayne, but the Joker switched the dress of two victims intentionally, so when Batman reached the scene, he could only save Harvey Dent, while Rachel was too late to be saved from the ticking bomb. Still, through moral reflection, this consequence was objectively better as public in Denver surpasses solitary pursuits. To so citizens in Gotham, Harvey Dent meant much more to them than Rachel. He was the local DA and the public image that guided people to gave them hope. The White Knight, Harvey Dent, was a man of integrity. He was widely admired for his efforts to rid Gotham of crime through law and justice. Losing Rachel was a tragedy, but the citizens of Gotham need Harvey Dent for safety and faith. In terms of the results, the final ending did fit utilitarianism, as the benefits of a major group, the people of Gotham, were maximized. But back to the topic, none of the two victims deserves death. They were considered both innocent. Also, no one in the story should be blamed for the deaths of Rachel except the Joker and his accessories. Batman and the police in the moral quandary had to make the choice, and the choice will always be considered as half right and half wrong, no matter who was saved. But saving one of the victims was better than saving none. In the next video, other choices made in the movie will be discussed, and Let's see how Nolan used the juicy storyline and camera language to portray philosophical morality. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel.